How's it going guys on the Gaming Updater, but you can call me TK and welcome to day two of the Ultimate X4 series. Now usually I have a little bit of film showing like the uh, the little intro to the map, uh, but I forgot to press the record button so this one started a little late. Uh, and however, if you want to know, this is on Highland Resort. Uh, if you don't play much Battlefield, those who play Battlefield will know that straight away, e easily, uh, even from the chopper of me riding off. And uh, you know what? We nailed the first game. First game, absolutely drilled it. We had a KD ratio of 51 to 24, something like that. 50, uh, something, I can't remember, something ludicrous. Uh, and this game uh, probably didn't follow the same sort of kill streak. Uh, but we di I did have a good game. Uh, it was a lot of moving around, as in, uh, usually on this map, I might find myself sticking around maybe two or three objectives. Because uh, often, especially at the building here, right in the middle in the hotel, uh, there can be a lot of changing around. There can be a lot of uh, a lot of mix up, a lot of mips out. That the, the, it'll change back and forth, and it did. It still did, but so did a lot of the other objectives, which doesn't always happen. Such as Delta was changing consistently, so I'd find myself out there sometimes. I found myself down in Bravo and in Alpha every now and then. Usually I just stick around to uh, Alpha, Bravo and Charlie. Uh, however, this game moved around the entire map, even back, to that, back at our home objectives. That changed a few more times than often. It was, uh, it was an interesting game because both teams were really moving around. Both teams were really playing the objective. Uh, and although I think we probably, I, I can't remember how much we won by, although we probably, uh, we probably won convincingly, it was still a, it was a good game. Uh, it was good to see both teams actually playing. So here you go, you see I'm right back at Delta. Uh, as much as I was, was playing the objective, it was really hard to sort of actually cap objectives. Uh, so I ended up uh, probably getting a, a, another good KD ratio, but not as, uh, not as high a kill count as the last game. Uh, you can see I got off to an alright start, I was second on the leaderboard back there. Uh, it was, you know, it was a fun game, so I have to come up with some sort of tip, as I always do for these videos. Uh, and I'm pretty sure to this tip today will have to be to do uh, with when both teams are playing the objective really well. What do you do? Where do you go? So my first tip would be to attack, not defend, especially if you're playing by yourself. If you're playing with a big squad of teammates, and that's probably not as uh, probably not as big as a rule. This is if you're playing to win, by the way. Uh, if you're playing to score, uh, even as a squad, you want to be attacking. As in, uh, for here, I'm by myself. Although we do have this objective, there was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, infantry around there, so I was just trying to pick them off uh, one by one. They were recapping it, as you can see, retaking it every now and then. But eventually, here you can see I've moved off to another objective. I've gone to Echo, and I'm playing the capture. Capturing capturing objectives is going to get you the most points. So especially if you're playing by yourself. Uh, if both teams are playing the objective really well, if who you're playing is playing the objective really well, what a shot. Um, <laughs> then uh, attack. Do not defend. Don't stay in a spot that you're owning. Don't stay in a spot with loads and loads of teammates. Go and take your own objectives. It's only going to help your team, and it's only going to help you pick up those points. Uh, another thing there is that, because uh, this is more playing by yourself, this is because I'm all, all, I, all I play is uh, with myself, or maybe with one or two, one, maybe one or two friends, uh, simply because that not many of my friends have all played this game. Uh, so, you know, that, that's the first tip. Uh, move off and attack, don't defend. The next tip would be, make sure when you are attacking, you're attacking to play the objective, you're not going to for kills, you're not hanging around to try and kill as many people as you can. That is not attacking. Attacking is playing the objective to the best of your ability, and trying to cap as many objectives as you can. So over here, I'm moving back to this objective, I'm moving over to Bravo, uh, I'm moving whatever, what, to whatever objective isn't ours. And here we go, captured. That's another, what, there you go, 650 points with that quest. Uh, with that capture and that kill, plus I get another one here just on the, with the machine gun on the boat. So making sure that you're moving around, because if we have Charlie, say we're, we're owning Charlie right now, that, there's, uh, there's a bit of a fight going on, so you might get a few kills, but you, you're just defending, you're not going to capture anything. Don't, don't do it, don't waste your time. You've got loads of teammates that are, are all, obviously already there doing that, leave them to it. So how did I go when I was trying to carry out this? Well, this game went to uh, swimmingly. I think it, it went pretty good. I was getting some awesome kills, especially with the RPG. Here's another one here. Boom. Finally having some connections with the RPG. I've had a bit of a cold streak with that. But the kills were coming in. The points are coming in. Uh, I was what, uh, what advice I was just giving you then was actually working. I was picking up some good objectives. See, now they've captured Charlie, so I'm going to move in there and I'm going to try and take it. I wasn't going in there when it was ours, I'm just going in now that they've taken it. But, uh, you know, anyway, what, uh, what I've been telling you was working, it was racking up the points brilliantly, I was capturing objectives, it was a close game because they were playing the objective, but I still won, and we still managed to finish with 11,524.